Hi there folks, Andrea Cox here with andreacox.com and thehealthyhaven.net and you've been writing me, emailing me, you've even been calling me asking me these questions. So today is Q&A. I am going to go over, I'm going to pick five questions of what you guys have emailed me and I'm going to answer you. So this one, the first question I have is from Sherry and she lives in Laguna Beach one of my favorite places in the world. And she emailed me through andreacox.com and said, where do you get your produce? Uh, Sherry, this is for you. I get most of my produce, I would say about 85% at farmer's markets. I feel like it's picked fresh that day or the night before, the day before rather, and it's, it's super fresh, it tastes better to me, and the farmers know what they're doing. I know all my farmers by name, and they know me. When they see me coming, they smile because they know I'm going to put my hard-earned money in their pockets because they matter to me. Um, local, organic, huge supporter of that. I, I ran an organic co-op out of my garage in Dayton, Ohio for almost a year and a half, and I've been actually thinking about doing it here in California. It's the only way to go is local. The second place, if I have to, I'll go to Whole Foods or Jimbo's. I don't like to promote grocery stores, though, unless it's a mom and pop chain. I'm just real, I'm real down home Ohio like that. Uh, the second question, do I only eat organic? I just answered this in a video recently. This is from Michael, who's from Ohio, my uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, very close to my hometown. Do I eat organic? I try to eat organic. I probably eat 100, I do eat 100% organic only because I'm extremely clean and when you've done a lot of cleansing you become highly allergic to non-organic. So yes, I do eat organic. Uh, occasionally I'll get like an avocado that's not organic from a local farmer and I won't eat organic. But yes, I eat organic. So the third question is from Darla. What a beautiful name. And she's from Austin, Texas. She says, hi, Andrea. We have a huge community here of raw vegans. I'm 70% raw. My question for you is, I just started juicing. Do you juice every day? Darla, yes, I juice every day. Uh, I started juicing seven years ago. And what can I say? I really haven't missed a day. I just feel like it gives me so much life when I do it. I usually do it after a workout because I like to be super empty when I work out. I feel like it's my protein shake. You know, some people do smoothies, other people do, you know, packaged things. I would never touch really either of those. I prefer to do fresh vegetables that have been juiced to give me that life and that glow that I love. Um, okay, third, not to knock smoothies, they're okay, they're just not for me. Um, one, two more questions actually. This one is from Derek and he's from LA. He says, Andrea, <laughs> this is funny, Andrea, your dresses are beautiful, the strapless ones especially, and my wife would like to know where you get them at. Is there a boutique or a store that you commonly go to buy your dresses? Derek, that is very sweet. I'm glad you mentioned your wife or else I wouldn't be reading this. Uh, I get my dresses wherever I find them. This I think I got at Whole Foods for $7 on sale. It's just a royal blue little dress. I like to feel comfortable and free and very tall and shapely. And so I like things I can just throw on and feel good in. Thank you for the compliment, but I don't shop at big name brand stores like Needless Markup, Nima Marcus, or Nordstrom. I used to, but I don't any longer. I prefer to get my dresses at little boutiques or long side of the road or whatever. As long as it's 100% organic cotton, I wear them. Okay, last but not least, this is from Sarah, and she is in Idaho. Sarah writes, how do you store your produce? Since I've gone raw, I've bought several fresh greens that have gone bad. How do you store your produce? Please help. Okay, I store my produce in Debbie Meyer green bags. I shot a video on this, but I didn't post it. I 
I think it's on my phone. I'll have to post it for you. I store my produce in Debbie Meyer green bags. I make sure I get my things into the refrigerator as soon as possible. I even have an extra fridge, which is not being used right now, but sometimes for melons and things. Um, interesting though, for those of you who do eat animal products, I just met a farmer about two weeks ago that said with eggs, if they're fresh from a local farmer, you actually want to leave them on the counter. Can you believe that? Who knew? So email below if it, if it comes to that. But um, I just like to, if it's greens and you don't have Debbie Meyer green bags, put a wet paper towel inside of a plastic bag, fold it or, over, store it that way. Certain things that do not belong in the fridge, very important, maters, tomatoes. I like to leave my cukes, cucumbers, out, and citrus. Um, I don't store citrus in the fridge either. Lemons, limes, oranges, I, I don't. Um, although they will keep for a long time in the fridge. So thank you all so much for watching this Q&A video. And I'll have another one in, say, a week or two weeks or so. My cameraman's like, oh, gosh, no. Uh, if you like this video and found it helpful, post below and hit the like button. And subscribe, won't ya? I wear pretty dresses for you. Yeah. Be well.